Here I have 10 rough Malawi egg nodules. And today I'm gonna to be grinding the ever-living husk off of them. And I'm gonna be using my eight inch cap king with this side wall off and this amazing little diamond pad we will grind away to expose hidden bands. Let's get started. So as you saw, the idea is to grind away on the husk on these windows that we see on these agates and clean them up and get them prepared for polishing, which is what we are also going to be doing in this video. And look at how beautiful that little Malawi agate is. It is a perfect full pattern, great colors. Now some of these Malawi agates have really beautiful patterns showing up. They're just dirty and need to be cleaned up like the very first one. And others have absolutely nothing to show for them. So I'm really hoping when we grind away that husk, beautiful bands are revealed. And when we're all said and done with grinding away all the husk, I'm gonna hop on the wheels on my Cap King and polish each and every single one of them. And I'm gonna put them all up on my Etsy store. So as of posting this video, all of the good ones on here are on my Etsy store and it's first come first serve. It's gonna be linked in the description box below, but let's get to grinding. One, two, three. This is how they look before. So the process of grinding the husk off of these is actually a lot harder than it looks. I knew that coming into this, but we basically got to get it to a flat surface. So you got to go through a lot of rough to get to that, but it is worth it because these three are amazing. Granted, they're pretty much dry right now, maybe a little soggy, but when they're polished, they're going to have mirrored finishes and each one of these is turning out to be an absolute beauty. This one's my favorite one so far. This one actually has a lot of depth to it. Up in here, it has dendrites, dendritic details. I don't know the exact terminology for it, but under this quartz, it's hiding some pretty beautiful stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is take one of these guys, maybe this guy right here, and we'll just grind away on the husk until it's kind of flat and see what's hiding inside it. Might be kind of hard to tell, but there are some agate details coming through on the husk. I don't see like a full banded pattern. So I'm guessing this is gonna be one of those moss agates with a lot of depth to it and everything like that. So it's not gonna be as fun of a reveal as I was hoping for. Let me just whip the grinding out on this one and we'll show you when it's done. So I just finished up this really funky one and it does have some unique details in there. It does have some bands in there, some kind of cloudy bands in here. Dendritic e goodness going on over here. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of character to it. So I have polished these before and they do turn out pretty cool so I think I'll try to polish this one but um, we'll just see how it turns out in the end so I have five of these Malawi agates grinded down prepped for polishing and they're looking awesome we have five more to go it's taken a lot longer than I anticipated and I knew it was gonna take long I just didn't think it was gonna take this long and my hands are starting to cramp up a little bit but it's worth it because you're seeing the results. These are so beautiful. And I want to show you something kind of funny about my setup that might not be conventional. So right here where my water shoots out of, that is not the normal spot where the water shoots out. That's something I put on here. Uh, this little additional water thing you can get from, I believe, Cap King or High Tech Diamonds website. But normally on the Cap King, it has this water you know, port that shoots out of there. But for whatever reason, 
on this side of my cab king it's in these hoses I have like a blockage or something so I think what happened in my bucket of water there was some contaminants that got up in here and formed some sort of clog in the ports cuz like way way up in there that shoot water down over the wheels it's not gonna show up very well cuz it's really dark but I think one of them is clogged on the further end of it causing water to not shoot out anywhere so uh, I will probably try to fix that before we get to polishing because it's nice having water on these wheels and not moving this thing around everywhere but five more beauties to go these seem to have a little bit of uh, depth to them so it's gonna take a little while to get all the faces this one will be easy that's so pretty but I'm really excited to see what's going on with these so let's get back to grinding and I'll see you when I'm done with these five. So I finally wrapped up that very last Malawi agate. It took me so long because it is a very, very special piece. It is very unique. It's not like any of the other Malawi agates that we worked on so far. And I had to be very careful with it. Let me show you why. So here's our batch. They are looking really, really phenomenal. And this is that very last one I was telling you about. It is extremely unique. So we have a lot of work to do with this one to make it look what I'm hoping is gonna be insane, but it has so much depth to that. And how funky is that? It's so clear and it has just this part of the agate that has the bands and everything in there, but it's just the outside, inside agate. I don't know how to explain it. It's really, really crazy. And like I mentioned, all of these are going to be going up on my Etsy store, but there is actually one of them that I'm going to be keeping for myself. And after I polish them all, I'm going to show you which one that I'm going to be keeping for myself because I just love it so much. But now we're going to be using my Cab King to polish all of these beauties. We're using the res wheels starting at the 280, 600, 1200, 3000 and 8,000. So let me get all of my gear on and we will make all of these beautiful Malawi agates perfectly polished. So out of our seven that we're working on, two of them, we gotta back up and fix a little issue with them. So with this beautiful one, right above my thumb there, I just had some light fracturing. So I'm just gonna step back a couple to 280 and then run it through 600 again, should knock it out. And then this guy right here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's right above my thumb. There's just a couple grind marks that were from that flat lap and I want to, it's almost impossible for you to see. I don't know if you'll even be able to notice it right, right there. I'll put an arrow on there, but yeah, got to get those taken care of before we can move on. So I'll work on those two for a second and then we'll move on to my favorite side and we'll whip through these.
we have gone through the 3,000 grit. We have one more stage to go, the 8,000 grit, and we are done. It hasn't been too long because with that flat lap, although that took a very long time, and I do have a few words to say about that. There's kind of like two fields of thought with that, but we'll get to that in a second. But because we use that flat diamond lap, it does create such a great starting point, so the polishing process is so fast. So I think it's only been like an hour. And I've got all those through the 3,000 grits. So um, I just have to switch my external water source to the other side and we will get all wrapped up. But I just quickly wanted to say if you enjoy this video or if you're enjoying this video so far hit that like button. It really does help support our videos and if you're new here do me a huge favor hit that subscribe or follow button so you can join us in more fun videos like this, more cutting videos and more rock hunting videos. I love taking you all with and it's always just such a such a fun time always. So let me switch some stuff around here and we'll wrap this up. So we got all of those beauties wrapped up and I have them right down here. Let's take a closer look at each and every one of them. Yep, here's all of our beauties and this one is the one that I'm going to be keeping for myself because I just love it so much. It's so beautiful, but let's take a peek at this really, really funky one. Look at that polish and look at the depth in there. <laughs> it's so crazy. And I think the coolest thing is, you probably won't be able to see it, but right there, the tip of my finger, that is red. And I, I tried so hard not to touch any of the white in there, but I just par barely caught that piece, or that part, and it turned red. Now, if we were to grind more on this white part, I believe we would have caught into the bands. Because as you can see, there's this clear around the bands and where the white is on the outside that's when you start getting into the red so i think if we were to polish down into that we start getting into more bands that's the theory and i think that is pretty cool i really really love this egg it's pretty sweet this guy was really really interesting as well ended up having some great depth to it also some cool little details in here as you can see it does have a lot of naturalness to it with this moss and stuff but right over in here, a lot of black, some gray bands in here. That was pretty sweet. Now, out of all of these, this one is probably my least favorite, which is ridiculous because it's so beautiful. <laughs> but it's got some great greens, oranges, and almost like a burnt orange, and a geode pocket, and we're way deep down in there. Looks like some calcite crystals. This one is definitely our smallest agate but one of my favorites it's got a full pattern in there it is really beautiful and if you watch right along there as i rotate it it's got some depth to it both ways super cool really love this one this guy is i believe our yeah it's our biggest face out of this batch it's a big boy and it reminds me of like a iced lemon bar <laughs> it looks scrumptious it is so awesome again right in here that depth i love these malawi agates malawi agates are becoming some of my favorite they are so phenomenal and it's a geode agate. a little pocket in there this is one of those ones that i said is going to look a lot better polished if you and I, you know part of me is like i should have ground down more in this quartzy area but if you look close I'll try to zoom in a little bit more it's gonna look terrible but it's got a lot of details in there that if we ground down more it would have become more exposed but I think it's pretty cool having all of that in there and then over here we have black some dendrites <laughs> it's seriously so phenomenal this guy right here has such a beautiful pattern with the bands it's got some quartz around in there oranges red just the way it rolls up 
in like different shades of orange into red, hits the quartz in whites and yellows into clear. It's so pretty. And right here is the flow channel, which is really, really great. So I love this beast. This one's so awesome. Now out of all of these, this one is my favorite. It is the best bands, some of the best bands on a Malawi agate I have ever polished. And it turned out perfectly. This is a premium polished Malawi agate. This is not gonna last very long on my Etsy store, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Someone's gonna get snatched up. This is seriously phenomenal. Such great bands, great color. White contrasting with the orange and the dark, almost brown. So, so cool. Seriously, like, this is one that I am actually probably gonna regret selling someday, but We'll get more. I have a few more Malawi agates to cut open and polish. And this is the one that I'm going to be keeping to myself. Uh, this one is really special to me. And uh, I don't know if you'll see it the way that I see it. I think it looks like an abstract version of Mary. So I think it's really beautiful. So I've given this one the fun little nickname of Our Lady of Malawi. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just think this is really, really special. And that white in there is just absolutely pure it's just so vibrant so light and like i said i just think it's really special so uh, it has kind of a funny backstory to it uh, i'm not going to share it here if you ever see me in public and want to hear about it just ask and i'll be happy to tell you but um this is pretty cool so i'll be keeping this one for my collection so those are all of our polished malawi agates and again they are going to be listed on my etsy store which is linked in the description box below as well as my cap king and the res wheels and the discount code for 10 percent off those red res wheels and other accessories it's code agate dad it's all linked below but earlier I mentioned two frames of thought with that end flat diamond lap so the grinding process with that for all there's not I started with 10 one of them was a bust so nine of them it took probably three four hours to grind away the husk and get it to the state where it's ready to polish and like I said once you're done with that the polishing process is a breeze. It was just over an hour. If you cut out all of the camera adjustments and everything like that, it was probably an hour to polish nine. And those are decent sizes. So if you think about it like that, it took me about five hours, four, probably four and a half to five hours to polish all nine of those. That's not too bad, but you think about the grinding of the husk process part of it, that probably wasn't the best use of time. So the two frames of thought is if you have a Cap King, get that 300 grit diamond lap, and it's much cheaper than the faster process, which would be just to get a saw, run it through the saw, and then get to polishing. Saws are a lot more expensive than that end piece. So it's like I said, two frames of thought. Have the Cap King with that flat lap piece to grind the husk away, it's gonna be a lot easier if you're doing it one at a time or get a saw to cut the end off of it and then get to polishing. So either way is fine. But anyways, and I'm done being long-winded and I'm winded while being long-winded. So <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video. I had a blast. If you like this husk grinding video, rewatch it because I'm not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably do maybe smaller batches in the future, not 10 at a time. But anyways, I had a blast. And thank you all so much for joining me on it. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, comment, share. All that stuff helps support our channel and our videos. And I appreciate you all so much. We'll see you next time.